So this patient's coming in for a painful lesion in her upper back. She was seen a few days ago and they had drained this or attempted to drain it. So part of my complaints is what I run into a couple of times is sometimes they don't do an, enough of an incision. So hard to say how much is still retained here, but it looks like there's too much that's retained here. So there's still some elements of drainage that are happening. So I push there. So I think we're gonna have to open this back up a little bit and then uh, just even just clean this out. So even if there's not a lot of drainage, just clean it out entirely, flush it, and then sort of see what we're doing um, with this is, as it heals. Yeah, there's so much there. You see that one there? Too much drainage for the top area. So again, the problem with this being is the freezing is gonna be a little bit impaired. I'm gonna do some topical, just spray to see if we minimize that, then we'll spray this a bit. So we'll the you okay? Yep. Yeah. Feel a little pressure here, I apologize. I'm gonna feel a burning. So I wanna be very superficial with this. I try to not get into the actual cyst space if I can, at least initially. She's being pretty stoic, this stings. You okay? Yeah. So in all likelihood, this probably needed to be at least, they tried to do vertically, they probably tried to do it horizontally too, just because it'll heal better. Um, so I'll extend it this way. Um, but they probably should have been, if they're even doing it this way, probably twice as long to see if that would heal. Does that hurt when I'm doing this? No. So I think I'm going to try and do is communicate across the top here. You okay there? This is why she was still having so much pain. So I'm just gonna use a cure out, see if we can get some of these adhesions done. You okay there? Mm -hmm. Here's as I break those down, those will pop forward. Not hurting too much? No. Okay. So you can see every time I break it down, that's more just keratin and membrane. Now again, at this stage when it's like this, because the membrane becomes so friable, you really can't take these out entirely. This will be forced to heal. And then we'll come back later after it's healed and see if we have to need to take something out completely. Sometimes we get lucky you can see how, the, how little that came down to the actual space. Sometimes we'll get lucky and we damage enough of it that it doesn't come back, but I would tell you those are more unusual. Maybe if I had to say by percentage, maybe 5% would happen like that.
So once I think I've cleaned out enough of it, then I'm gonna irrigate this. Again, more or less for the same purpose. You can see all that, that's just keratin membrane there again. There's some more there. The worst thing is like stuff crawling underneath the skin. I can't sleep because it's full. No, as I'm saying, dude, it just wasn't cleaned out enough. Yeah. So generally I want to be pushing this at different angles. You can see how the material comes out of that. So this is again, more broken up membrane. So this is what you have to do for this to heal properly. You want to clean this out as much as possible because otherwise, even if you drain it, then it'll just reaccumulate on you and you'll have more trouble getting that out completely. So you can see how more comes out again and that's after the irrigation. Oh, did you? That's okay. Are you gonna pass it? Yeah, I'll probably need to. Let's see. Let's see, let's see some more coming here. So you can see how all this was retained. So on the first go around, when you have too small an incision, you just can't get it out. You doing okay? Yep. You can see that last big chunk came out. So this should feel quite a bit better um, than it did the last couple of days. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna put some packing, sorry. So I'm gonna put some packing in just for tonight. And we're gonna see you back tomorrow and then I'll take that out. And the packing I'm doing, because again, this seems very locky. You saw how much came out in, in various fits and starts. Um, not from a hemostatic perspective, it's not bleeding excessively, but. It's not hurting too much? This is something we used to do for weeks, you know, 10, 20 years ago. Now I just pack it overnight and that's it. Just allow it to heal into this space. It's actually quite a bit bigger than it feels like. And this is the other reason why I chose to 
do this again horizontally, it looks like it's gonna, you might look at this and sort of say it's gonna worsen her scarring potential, but if I just extended that vertical incision, I don't think I could have hit these pockets. And that'll heal pretty well for us once the infection's gone, to be honest. All right, so we're just going to go to dressing on this. We'll see you here back tomorrow.